In this illustration, we will discuss about the moment of inertia of a rectangular lamina about its diagonal. We are given that a rectangular plate of length L and breadth B is of mass M, and we are required to find its moment of inertia about an axis along its diagonal. Now, here if we draw the figure of such a rectangular plate, of which the length is L and breadth is B, and about an axis which is passing through its diagonal, if this rectangular lamina is rotated, we are required to find its moment of inertia. So, this moment of inertia we can write as twice the moment of inertia of this plate, and say if we draw a perpendicular from one vertex onto the axis of rotation, and say this distance is r, and the mass of this plate is m, then both of the triangular plates will be having masses m by 2 and m by 2. And identically, both of these plates will be having same moment of inertia. And here we can write that moment of inertia of A rectangular plate can be given as I is equals to twice the moment of inertia of the triangular plates as shown. Here there is one triangular plate, there is another triangular plate. So, both will be identical, so it will be twice of the moment of inertia of triangular plates. And the moment of inertia of triangular plates we already studied earlier, that it is given by 1 by 6, its mass we can write as m by 2 multiplied by r square. And if we substitute the value of r over here as these lengths are l and b, the Value of R we can write by similar triangles as R by B is equals to L by root of L square plus B square. So here the value of R we are getting is L B upon root of L square plus B square. So in this equation we substitute the value of R. This is giving us 1 by 6 M and r square is l b upon l square plus b square root whole square. So, this is giving us 1 by 6 m l square b square divided by l square plus b square. That is the result of this problem.